Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your January 2022 monthly reading. This is going to be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note it is a general message, so take it as it resonates for you. You will need to use your intuition and discernment to determine what messages are yours and what messages are left, meant to be left behind for someone else. Feel free to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages. If you are unsure or unaware of what your additional planetary placements are, there is a link in the description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. All right, my beautiful Pisces, just as a quick reminder, my messages can come through as one big storyline or as individual messages. When I say he or she, I am referring to the energy of the cards, not necessarily gender. And always remember that you remain in the in your own power and have the right to accept, claim, or disregard any reading. You never give up your power to any tarot reading or tarot reader. All right, my beautiful Pisces, let's go ahead and start today with a spirit guide message and a divine door. Then we'll get into your tarot spread. We will follow up with oracle cards and uh, I'm going to pull some he said, she said messages, so messages from your uh, person of interest, as well as zodiac signs that are most in your energy or have an influence in your energy in the month of January. And then we'll close out with one wisdom of the oracle for re a relationship message. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what is the best message, advice, and guidance coming through for the Pisces collective at this time? Oops, thank you. They showed me clearly. All right, let's go ahead and pull one divine door real quick. All right, spirit guys, what is your message for? I see sun, moon, rising, Venus, please. Thank you. All right, Pisces. We have intuitive nudges coming through. And from the divine doors, we have deeper. All right, so your message from your spirit guides is this here. Intu intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keep us connected to our higher selves, to the universe, and to our divine spirit. This card comes forth at this time because we, here in the spirit world, hear your request for an answer. We ask you not only to seek guidance from us, but also to listen to your natural intuition that is sending you nudges. The answer is already waiting for you. You are born intuitive, everyone is, as life has a way of adding ever-increasing layers and years of responsibility to your physical world. It often is hard to peel back those layers so you can feel, sense, and know when an answer arrives. We ask you to trust and embrace what you are physically feeling as your body works in partnership with your intuition. Be aware of your dreams, synchronicity, signs, books that may come to you, people entering your life, or even numbers that keep reappearing. These are intuitive nudges. Once you learn to trust your intuition, you will see yourself and the world in a way you never thought possible. <clears throat> okay. So Pisces, you guys are definitely very intuitive. You are seeing a lot. I'm getting numbers for a lot of you, and it's kind of like a universal thing. I think right now the best communication is coming through numbers. So if that is applying to you, uh, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the messages coming in. Just kind of really tune in to that. And we have deeper from the divine doors. You are not finished. You are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is yet to come. Hold on, hold on. All right, so there is something definitely getting ready to happen for you guys that you have not yet quite uh, seen. So it's going to be an interesting month. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. What is your best messages, advice, and guidance for my beautiful Pisces? What do they most need to know? At this time, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance for Pisces, please. All right, so let's go 
ahead and take a look, Pisces. All right, in the heart of the matter, <clears throat> we have the chariot, the card of cancer, being crossed by the five of swords. All right. And the root, we have the five of pentacles. Recent energy, we have the king of cups. Crowning this, we have the eight of wands. Future energy coming in, we have the ace of pentacles. How you are seeing yourself, how others are seeing you at this time is the moon. Definitely your energy there. Outside influences, we have the devil Capricorn energy. Hopes and fears, we have the ten of swords. Possible outcome, future energy moving in, we have the wheel of fortune. Overall energy here, we have the two of wands. The subconscious hidden energy is the higher fun. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. All right, Pisces, give me just one moment to absorb the energies here on the table, and then we'll jump right into it. All right, so what is immediately speaking to me, Pisces, that a majority of you have been going through a lot of challenges um, in 2021? Um, with the Five of Swords, this very well could have been you were dealing with people that played a lot of games. Um, there was people that were dishonest, to try was sneaky, uh, that try to get away for things. Now, this can be applied in any aspect of your life from love to family to friends to career and finances. I definitely see in the distant past here. Now, this could be anywhere from yesterday to 50 years ago as we're all in different timelines. So, again, take it as it resonates. But I see that there was some type of loss here. It could be financial, emotional. With the Five of Pentacles, it's an indication of feeling rejected, turned out, suffering a loss, a and kind of grieving. It's feeling isolated. <clears throat> For a lot of you, this is going to deal with romance with the Two of Cups where there was a lot of regret. Again, this is a focus on what was lost. So I feel like a lot of you um, did suffer uh, a lot of challenges, a lot of loss. Um, also, 555 is a number that's kind of now jumping out at me. But with the chariot in the heart of the matter, with the five party and cross by the five of swords, I feel like you, Pisces, are in a place, you know, some of you could be dealing with the cancer, but I feel with the chariot, this is about moving forward, moving into alignment, taking those opposite and polar uh, energies and, and propelling yourself forward towards a victory, overcoming this challenge for you. Uh, this is where the focus is. Again, some of you have dealt a, a loss and we will get clarifiers and take a deeper dive into it in just a moment. And the recent past, we have the King of Cups. And Pisces, I'm seeing this as your energy. I'm seeing the King of Cups as this energy of love and, and power. It's you being in control. It's you have... A mastered your emotional body not allowing it to rule you you are ruling it so you know this is definitely telling me that you have you know you've got yourself in a position here and this is like recent recently where you're not allowing others <clears throat> to affect you emotionally you're kind of getting steadfast uh, you know you are sitting in a well you it's not that you don't feel those emotions you're sitting in a well of your own emotions but you have mastered it so that it cannot be used against you or manipulate it. Crowding this reading is the Eight of Wands. This, again, is a card about movement and forward movement, being propelled forward. For some of you, this is your wanting communication or your person may be wanting communication, but this is about taking the necessary steps, being ready to move forward. You have a new opportunity moving in here in the future with this Ace of Pentacles. Now, this could be a new job, a new offer, uh, a new project, it could be a new house. A, it, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a tangible thing, so it is limited with the possibilities. And for all of you, it's going to be represented by something different. You are sitting in the moon. That is your energy, Pisces. Uh, the moon is definitely speaking to me in the terms of you just really have come into a lot of you into your own energy. Now, some of you, this could be fear-based. 
there's things that you're maybe not revealing or, or that are hidden from you or you feel like it has been hidden from you. But again, I don't want to speak too much until I get clarifiers on that. But overall, Pisces, I'm feeling like you have stepped into your own energy here. Now, outside of you, there is an influence with the Five of Swords and the Devil. I'm going to take this as a negative influence that has affected you in your life. It could be a Capricorn for some of you. Not that Capricorns are negative by any stretch of the imagination. I love Capricorns just as much as any other zodiac sign. But I'm bringing that into realm that for a lot of you, you were dealing with somebody who was very toxic in nature. They were sneaky. They were underhanded. They tried to get away with things. Some of you may be dealing with narcissists. Um, it could be narcissistic bosses, I'm hearing for some of you. Um, and the hopes and fears is the Ten of Swords. So this was brutal. This was a brutal ending. And I feel like this is kind of the hope and the fear that the pain is done in this end it. And the fear is that if, you know, it's over and you don't know where to go from here. The energy moving in from this is the Wheel of Fortune, which tells me there's a turn of good luck. There it was obstacles that were in your way that's now being moved out of your way. There's new opportunities and chances coming in for you. It's all coming down to a choice, a decision, to choosing a different path, a different way. And some of you are going to take a leave. For some of you, this is a job um, where you're going to be in power and control. Um, the zodiac signs jumping out at me uh, is showing up immediately in this reading is Taurus, Cancer, and Capricorn. So let's go ahead and get a couple of clarifiers and take a deeper dive and see exactly what is going on here for my beautiful Pisces. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance. Please clarify the cards on the table for Pisces. Show me clearly, precisely what the collective needs to know at this time. All right, let's start with the Five of Chariot and the Five of Swords in the heart of the matter. Why is, why is the Chariot and the Cross by the Five of Swords? One more, please. Thank you. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. We got the Two of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords and the Tower. Okay. So there's definitely been a Tower moment. There's been chaos. There's been upset. There's been upheaval in your life with this Five of Swords. I feel like this was, you know, somebody who, again, tried to get away with them, something, was trying to be sneaky. And it was exposed. Absolutely was exposed. I do feel like with what they ate a source, somebody was trying to play victim in this situation. This is somebody who um, felt powerless, helpless. They felt like they were trapped, unable to escape. It was just the way they are. It's the way they were raised. Um, you know, this can apply in many different directions. But at the end of the day, this person was no more trapped and than the next or they they were perfectly capable of walking out of this i do believe that they did play on emotions for a lot of my pisces out there this was somebody who um you know definitely was very good at playing the victim making excuses uh, i have the ace of cups so this tells me this a lot of you this has to do with love um this could be an offer of love this could be somebody that's coming back for some of you after this situation offering love but i feel like queen of swords two of swords here yeah five of pentacles for somebody this is a return of somebody or this is somebody that you've been dealing with that's trying now to kind of re re jump start things telling you that this that they've changed that this is over i feel like the energy of the queen of swords is yours some of you could have been dealing with a significant air sign libra gemini aquarius but i what i'm feeling the most with the Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, is you're at a crossroads. Um, this could be exactly what you're asking and wanting answers for. Can you trust this person? Have they really changed? Are they still sneaky? Is it possible to move forward, to have victory for this relationship to be, you know, successful? I feel like some of this is some of the questions that some of you are asking. And with the Queen of Swords, you are definitely in that position of evaluation. You're searching for the truth. I feel like that while you're at the crossroads is because you have not yet seen or have all the information to make this decision and you're searching out for the answers that are intuitively already there. And so they're drawing you, me, me back to that. 
to remind you to dig a little deeper because it's definitely there for you to answer. Um, what the Queen of Swords, she does not take bull. She will cut them off. This is somebody who has experience, has removed their emotions from the situation. If you can see the depiction here of the Two of Swords, this is somebody who is in front of the water, in front of those emotions. So this is you gotten out of front of your emotions and not allowing it to rule or dictate how this is going to go. You are searching for the truth in this situation. There has been a loss. There has been feelings of rejections, abandonment. This has definitely left you feeling in the past not very well or not very good. If you guys are new and you're looking for a new love, this could be what, what is kind of in your subconscious mind is about the pain from this past. Somebody that did you wrong, that played games. You're wanting forward movement. You're wanting victory here. But you are definitely in your head over this past heartbreak and pain. Over this heartbreak and pain. They're wanting you to take a leap of faith, but you're still questioning whether or not this person is a player. If they are true to their nature or if this is just a fly by the seat of the pants fancy for the moment is what I'm getting. Um, so this has really got you stuck with the hangman. So let's go ahead and take an even further deeper dive. And let's, let's take a look at this five of pentacles and the root here and the distant path. All right, spirit guys, angels, ancestors, wives. So five of pentacles here at the root of the spread. Okay, we got the higher fun. We got the moon, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer energy. The page of swords. The three of three of cups. The two of wands, yeah. See, I, I'm getting the sense, and this is obviously not going to apply for everybody. So here again, take this if it's yours, leave it if it's not. Um, for some of you, you were dealing in the past with somebody who definitely did leave you out in the cold. It definitely, there was this loss, this feeling of loss of abandonment. I'm getting for some of you loss of trust, you know, lost in trust. There was things that was hidden that came to light. I see spying, I see investigating, I see seeking for the truth. Um, three of cups, I'm picking up third party energy, whether this is romantic or third party or other people being involved, too many people being involved in the relationship, work, job, family, friends, gambling, addictions of some sort, kind of interfering in this connection. I see it, I see it here. For some of you, this was a commitment, okay, where there was a loss. There was a loss of a marriage, uh, an engagement, a uh, solid relationship, somebody that would have been. You know, so maybe you, you lived together or had been together for an extremely long time. I see, uh, you know, this this traditional um, commitment here that was disrupted, that was, you know, cut short, that there was this feeling of loss of abandonment. I feel like somebody who had a choice between two things and they may have chosen wrong here. And this is what I'm getting from past, past issues. Now, some of you, this doesn't have to be, you know, a long term commitment or a third party. This could be somebody who, you know, um, you maybe were trying to seek out whether or not this was what you wanted fully. This, there was an offer of engagement or marriage on the table. Um, there was this, you know, joys and celebration, but you, there was fear here. This could have been them as well as you, Pisces, but I feel like somebody was afraid here with the moon. Um, things that they were trying to seek out, trying to see with this page of swords. There was this uncertainty here. And someone may have abandoned the relationship, went in a different direction, chose a different path, took the lead, and there could have been a breakdown in communication over this. Yeah, for some of you, exactly. The temperance card tells me that it was not balanced. There was a potential for a long-term steady relationship with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So there was that, that ability, that possibility of building that family, that life that you've always desired. But something got caught up, something hung this up from being able to create, to create it. All right, so let's see this King of Cups. Get these in here too. All right, Spirit Guys, Angels, Ancestors, here's this King of Cups. Recent energy playing a part. King of Cups, Pisces energy, please. Why is the King of Cups here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. 
Why is the King of Cups here? For Pisces. Five of Swords. The Hanged Man. Page of Cups. Yep, I was picking that up. The Death Card. Scorpio Energy. The Five of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Cups. This is confirming what I've already picked up on. So Pisces, I feel like the King of Cups is representing two aspects here. I believe it is absolutely representing you. And I do feel like what my initial interpretation of the energy that I was feeling, you are sitting in a well of your own emotions at this point in time. But you have mastered them. So you are not quick to act. Um, on these emotions that you're feeling, uh, you're not allowing them to affect you or your decision-making process. There is this Five of Swords here. So this is what is definitely at the front and center of the main issue here. You do not trust this person. There was a lot of sneaky, underhanded business that went on in the past where this is how you feel and though this is how you're interpreting it. This is why you're in hangman mode because you're not willing to make a decision until you know for fact whether or not you can trust this, if it is over, if it is done, or if you can reconcile this, bring this back around with the Six of Cups. Is this person still a player? Is there hope with the Star card? Um, you're definitely holding back out of fear. You're guarded. And you should be. Four of Cups behind that. This is telling me that this person has come forth with an offer of some sort. Though this doesn't necessarily mean I want to get back together. For some of you, that's the question on the table. For others of you, this could be, can we talk? Can we communicate? Um, this could be even as simple, I know, I am sorry for how things went down. This person is trying to come back into your energetic field. With the death card, I'm not so sure that you're welcoming this back in or that you're going to. You are in pause mode. You are evaluating the situation. You're not allowing your emotions to call the rough shot over this. You will not budge from that hangman until you have a solid answer. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius, um, but I'm definitely feeling that maj the majority of this is you are in the process of determining whether this is finale, done, not being revived, no way possible, or if there is the ability to transform this connection into something new. Can you put the past behind you and move forward? And I feel like that in and of itself is where this high man is, is at. You're waiting for a sign, a, 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 a synchronicity to know whether or not this is for you or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at this eight of wands crowning this reading. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this eight of wands crowning, please. The spread, why is the Eight of Wands here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? All right, so we have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Okay, well, we're going to take them both. bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Pisces, this is a lot of communication coming back and forth between you and another person. For some of you, it is a significant uh, fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, and Aries. This could be a, this is going to be an, or I feel like this is an older individual or at least a mature individual, wise individual. This person is going to have a lot of passion, a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of magnetic energy for this person. They are very um, well-spoken, intelligent. They go after what they want. They're, they're, they're go-getters. They create their own reality. This could be somebody that you're leaning into for some of you for advice um, on how to deal with this. So there could be a lot of communication going back and forth between you and this particular person. This could be even your person, but this is definitely a lot of communication going back and forth. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Cups. 
and this is about you know can this move forward and can you know we can their happiness be revived here six of cups is that returned energy soulmate energy this is definitely about moving forward it's also focused on the past in the past there was heartbreak and pain and betrayal in your life can you get to can you move from this to the ten of cups this emotional fulfillment and i feel like for a lot of you this is where the communication is focused on at this time this is where you're at this is what you're trying to figure out can you have that life with this person that you have been dreaming of and for all of you it's going to look different for some of you it's going to be the kids the home the happy life you know that legacy for future generations that's you know building the life that you've always dreamed of but all of you are going to have a different look of what this ten of pentacles is but this is the ultimate goal for you, Pisces, is to get to the place where you've always wanted to be. Can this person get you there? I feel like you're analyzing the crap out of this. For others of you, if you're not leaning on anyone for support, the Queen of Wands can represent your person or it could represent you. What are you passionate about? What are you willing to go the distance for? With the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands, that's the question. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, you know. You've been there. You've been both. You're wanting a soulmate energy. You're wanting to be happy, but you're not wanting any more betrayal and hurt and pain. Can you move this forward? Can you make it to this Ten of Pentacles with this individual, this person, this situation, if it's not a person? You're asking, will this lead me to the life that I've always desired? You've seen both sides of the coin. You don't want, you don't want this again. So you're being cautious. You are analyzing what is in your best interest. You are choosing your path. In the meantime, again, card of Leo now showing up here, strength. You're being you're being very careful. I'm not going to say that you're being manipulative because that's wrong. You're being very cautious and careful with your emotions and your thoughts at this point in time. You're not ready to expose. You are holding back. I'm definitely getting the energy of holding back. There's a lot you're not saying at this very given time because you are evaluating the crap out of this. You are searching for the balance. You are searching for the truth. All right, so let's see this Ace of Pentacles, the future energy moving in for my beautiful Pisces. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. My future position. Why is the Ace of Pentacles moving in to this energetic field? What is this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? Thank you. What else can you tell me about the Ace of Pentacles? Thank you. And one more, please. Thank you. Mm. Here's that Five of Swords again. This is a big time challenge. Yeah. Okay. So definitely a new opportunity, a new offer. Okay. So if you look here, it's the Four of Swords. Here comes this offer. Here comes this cup. And there is the sense of being dis satisfied disinterested in it and I think that speaks very well to what we've seen so far it's not that you're not interested in it Pisces I feel like you're being cautious again being careful I think maybe you're playing a little disinterested while you're evaluating what you already have before you what you've already experienced and what you're not willing to deal with again ten of wands ten of swords you've been carrying around this heavy heartbreak and heavy pain this has been, been a burden to you, and I feel like you are ready to let it down and let it down. But again, you do not trust the situation. But the good news is the Three of Cups is here. There's reason to celebrate. There is good news on the way. And I feel like this is coming with this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity. For some of you, this is this offer. For others of you, I feel like it's going to be something different than this. It's going to pique your interest and take you in a different direction direction for some of you you don't see this coming but it's going to lead to immense happiness all right Pisces let's check out why you are here in the moon all right spirit guides angels and ancestors let's take a look at Pisces sun moon rising Venus why are they in the moon energy what do they need to know about the moon here why is it here why is Pisces showing up in the moon? The Eight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Yeah. 
Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Hanged Man, the Emperor. Pisces, oh, I got cold chills. You are, you, you are in your energy big time. So your intention, your focus is completely on you. And there is nothing wrong with that. You are the emperor energy. Some of you could be, be in connection with an Aries or leading on a father figure or father-like figure. Somebody of authority for advice, but I don't think so. Um, I feel like you're searching out new and better ways and better things. You're very much in the strength card. So again, you're, you're in control of your emotions. You're in control of everything for you at this point in time. You're not taking any action. You're moving in secrecy. You're you're uncovering what is hidden here. And that's the, that's the biggest message I got with the moon is what has been hidden from you that is, you know, I'm hearing out of sight, out of mind. Well, no, you're not playing that game. You, you're, you're very much focused and intent on uncovering anything that's hidden. So if this person has any skeletons left in their closet, you're going to turn them over. And you're not saying a word while you're doing this. You definitely are moving moving very much uh in stealth mode here all right so let's see this devil as the outside influence that is affecting the situation all right spirit guys angels ancestors what is this devil outside energy here please show me clearly precisely accurately for pisces why is the devil here why is the devil energy showing up thank you thank you Mm. Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Prince of Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, Pisces, this is that person that has been coming in with this offer. The That cup is showing up all over the place. Um, this person is definitely toxic in nature. Uh, they definitely got some deep ties. They're very impulsive very quick they're blunt they're well spoken but and they say look they're going in different directions this person's unbalanced or can't make up their mind um this is somebody that comes in and says all the right things trying to sweep you off their feet off your feet but it's got the magician and usually the magician's about manifesting and all this you know beautiful energy but that's not what i'm picking up here so i feel like this person plays the games they play the role that they want they think that you want to see they promise you the world they promise you, you know, they tell you that they're massively in love with you. And this is a big burden to you. This person is constantly playing the waiting game. This person makes you wait, makes you have anxiety. Uh, this person keeps you up late at night, overthinking the situation or thinking about the situation. They, I'm not feeling anything good from this energy. This could be representative of you as the Queen of Cups. They could see you as their ideal person ideal partner they could claim that there's lots of love here and for some of you that may be true but this person is definitely going in two different directions and with the magician and the devil this is telling me that they're manipulative so be careful on what you believe from this person which from what i see from this whole entire spread you're already well aware of that and you're going to keep digging to find out whether or not this person's still playing games all right, what do we have with this Ten of Wands, or Ten of Swords energy, please? And the hopes and fears, why is the Ten of Swords here? Nine. Nine of Swords, yeah. You definitely don't, the higher front. The devil. Yeah, we're going to stop right there. The strength card. This, this is speaking volumes to me. You are worried very intensely about... But the, the pain for the past, the toxicity, the toxic ties, whatever this is, Taurus or Taurus Capricorn energy, you know, when it comes, you're wanting commitment, you're wanting things to be more, I'm getting more stabilized, um, less chaotic. This is something that you worry about. You spend a lot of time worrying about it. You don't want it back again. You're definitely, again, steadfast in your emotion. The King of Wands, you want passion, you want desire, you want to be able to go what after what you want. What you don't want is heartbreak and pain or instability. You don't want to feel regret and sadness. That's why you're determining whether or not this person is worth fighting for, Pisces. And I don't I feel like a lot of you are feeling like this person is. So what is this Wheel of Fortune future energy coming into this situation? 
You know, it's very possible that this person coming back in for some of you do has do have regrets about past relationships, past partnerships. I did get that, that message here. What is this wheel of fortune? Future energy possible outcome. Show me clearly which one is it. Thank you. Yeah, where things have been stuck for you, Pisces, it's getting unstuck. You're going to get the answers that you're searching for. They're already within you. You already know them. Intuitively, the universe is answering you. Yeah. Queen of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune. You have new opportunities, new beginnings where things have been stuck, where there's been obstacles. They're going to be removed. You're going to see the light. You're going to get the, they're going to get that message. You're going to get that answer. You're going to be able to move forward and create and cultivate the new beginning that you desire. What it is truly meant for you with this wheel of fortune. You definitely got new things happening for you. I do see fair forward movement. For some of you that choose to move forward with this person, there's going to be, there's going to be some conflict there. You're going to have to really fight for a stable connection, which is still going to be hard because of heartbreak and pain. It's going to require a leap of faith on both of your behalf to get there and a lot of work if that is what you're set on bringing about. For a lot of you, I see you moving on to a new situation. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pull some romance angels here and see what's coming through. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love and romantic relationships. What is your best message, advice, and guidance for the Pisces Collective? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Okay. So we are at the bottom of the deck are getting keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types or expectations. So they definitely don't want you to shoehorn yourself into a specific type. All right, so we got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith in yourself, Pisces. It's calling for you to have faith in yourself, to trust your intuition, to trust the nudges the universe is sending to you. Definitely an issue of trust is the focus of this issue, this problem. You are being told it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is definitely for those of you that I stated where your past, things that you experienced in the past may be impacting your future ability for relationships. They're telling you it is safe. It is okay to move forward, to move on. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Absolutely. The queen of swords, which we've seen very dominantly in this reading for you, puts themselves first. They know what's in their highest interest and highest good. They love and respect themselves above all others. And I feel that is where this biggest message comes in for you. It's about loving and respecting yourself. All right, so let's go ahead. And I'm going to pull zodiac signs at this moment in time just to kind of take a look. And then we'll do the he said, she said messages and finish up with the oracle card. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do we have? Who's showing up most energetically in Pisces energetic field for January? Pisces definitely showing your energy here. Could be another Pisces for some of you. We definitely got Scorpio energy. Leo energy, not surprised. I'm hearing there's one more, guys. Thank you. And Sagittarian energy, Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck. So if that is one of you, the signs of the persons or people that you have dealt with, dealing with, or will be dealing with in the future, take it as a sign of synchronicity. If it is not, but this reading is still resonating, it just means that the others needed further confirmation. And that's it. Don't read more into it than that. All right. So let's go ahead and get some he said, she said. Oh, I'll get this after the reading. Messages. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do we have for Pisces? Okay. Message coming through is I'm rooting for your success. I will come back to you. 
I'm so proud of you. Don't give up on me. I miss hearing your voice calling my name. You are my soulmate. People keep getting in the way. I'm wearing a mask to hide how much this hurts. You feel like home, my love. And I want to marry you someday. Very, very nice messages. All right, so not all of you, will those messages really resonate? What you felt, what you're intuitive, intuitively were being told is yours. Take it. If none of them did, leave it. It's just simple as that. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's get the final message here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And there's a parting message for a relationship for Pisces, please. What is your relationship message for Pisces? So we're going to go with the first one here that came through. There's two cards that popped out, but I'm feeling for the majority of you, the answer here is observer. I will read the other one as well. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you do observe in yourself and others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. Hmm. That was pretty spot on for this reading. And then we have co-create, which was the second card. All right, so here's the message for co-create. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, open you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now and the very embodiment of beauty. And that is your message. All right. My beautiful Pisces, I hope this reading gave you a little insight to your situation. So please drop a comment down below in the comment box to let me know if this reading resonated with you or just simply to say hello. I don't always get to respond to every reading, but I do read every single comment. Please be sure to smash that like button if you have yet not done so. This helps this reading get out to all those that need to see it. It helps it reach other Pisces just like you. If you have not yet, please consider joining Kassarian House of Tarot. We would love to have you part of the Kassarian Soul Family. I am happy to announce it's the birthday. Uh, I've been on YouTube now for two years and it's been amazing every step of the way. So for all of you that tune in each and every month that I release a video, thank you for your continued support and dedication. Much love and appreciation goes out to all of you. Have a happy new year for those of you that are celebrating and for those of you that are not, please remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every single day. Namaste. Bye for now.